Thanks for joining us for the daily reading from the Alive Church Life Transformation Discipleship Plan. Every day we read through the daily reading and the verses that go along with the topic of the day. And if you have any questions or feedback, let us know at office at alivechurch.com. Week number 44, Conversation. I will honor God and encourage unity with my speech. My conversations will be honest but filled with grace. I will speak truthfully with love and encouragement to all, glorifying Jesus. I will speak responsibly, choosing my words carefully, because people can be powerfully affected by words. How I speak to someone or how I speak in front of others has the power to influence their desire to know Jesus or turn away from Him. My conversations will be seasoned with grace, leaving others with a longing for more. When I speak, others will be drawn to the Spirit of Jesus within me. The words from my mouth will be uplifting, encouraging, kind, and gracious. Words can build. Words can destroy. Unkind words can cause great damage and great division. Satan would be pleased to find me at odds with others. Therefore, it is imperative I avoid conversations involving gossip. I will not use foul language or say hurtful words in anger. I will not use words for criticizing, but to increase understanding and bring peace. As a follower of Jesus, I do not have the right to say whatever I desire. I must be filled with self-control and grace before any words leave my mouth. I will honor God and encourage unity with my speech. I will choose my words carefully and honor God in all I say. Therefore, I will make it my daily goal to speak life-giving words to those around me. I will seek the Spirit's wisdom so that my conversations will be helpful, not hurtful or misunderstood. Spirit-led conversations give life and healing to the hurting. It is only by His power my words can do great good. My conversations will be gentle so others will feel safe enough to share and be heard. This does not mean I will not need to speak up and sometimes say hard things, but I will always speak respectfully and lovingly. As a follower of Jesus, I am responsible for the words I speak and how I say them. The condition of my heart influences the kind of conversations I have with others. In order for my words to bring honor to God, the attitude of my heart must be made right. Daily, I will bring my heart to God to be purified so my conversations will be pure and uplifting. I will honor God and encourage unity with my speech. And as we continue our readings on conversation, day two, tongue control, James 3 verses 1 through 12. Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers in the church, for we who teach will be judged more strictly. Indeed, we will make many mistakes, for if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect and could control ourselves in every other way. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches, but a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness, corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. People can tame all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, But no one can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil, full of deadly poison. Sometimes it praises our Lord and Father, and sometimes it curses those who have been made in the image of God. And so blessing and cursing come out of the same mouth. Surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out of both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives or a grapevine produce figs? No, and you can't draw fresh water From a salty spring. Psalm 12, verse 3 and 4. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boastful tongues. They say, We will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? And our memory verse, Ephesians 4 29. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Every day we provide these readings to help build you up in your faith. Please follow along in your Bible. The Alive Church Life Transformation Bible also includes these readings. If you don't have one of those, let us know. Just email us at office at alivechurch.com. Have a great day and be sure to tell a friend about these daily readings.